What happens if you fail in your engineering? Does that affect your placements? Are you never going to get a good job? Will failing in engineering ever affect your degree? All this I am going to tell you in this video so that you can pursue your graduation with much more confidence and clearance. Coming up. So before I begin talking about what happens when you fail in your engineering, let me tell you, I believe most of my viewers come from the first year for engineering or even if you come from second year, third year, remember that failing is not a bad thing. Everyone has failed in their lives. So if you're watching this video, I want this video to act as a motivation for you and not because that you can go and start failing in your coming semester exams. Okay. So when I say that what happens when you fail in your engineering, there are two things that I actually mean. First, that you have entirely failed in your graduation. That means now you're not able to get your engineering degree. And second is that you have failed in your semester exams. So for now, let us talk about what happens when you fail in your engineering. As you know, in your engineering, you have eight semesters and almost each semester has five to six theoretical and plus some practical subjects. Now, if you're not able to clear your engineering in four years and you have any of the papers left, you can give in fifth year, sixth year, seventh year. In some universities and colleges, they allow you to appear even after you graduate. Suppose your tenure was from 2020 to 2024. You can also give your engineering exams up to 2028, which means four years of engineering plus four years you get to clear your engineering. But in many of these days, private university and colleges, they only allow you up to one year. So it actually depends which different university and colleges you come from. Now, what happens if you complete your degree in after four plus two or three years? Now, suppose you're a graduation student 2020 and you're expected to graduate till 2024. The degree that you're going to get will have the year from 2020 to 2024. Whereas if you graduate after four years of your graduation, that is 2024 plus four years, your degree is going to have that you have graduated in the year 2028, right? So if you're going to any of the interview and when you place your degree, any of the recruiter will come to know that there's a total tenure of eight years that you've taken to complete your engineering and he or she will of course come to know, which means you can never hide it. Now, I surely don't suggest you to take your engineering from four years to eight years. It's fine if it goes up to five years and it's also fine if it goes up to six years. I've seen many of my friends and guys working in the top tier company who have completed their graduation in five or six years. That's totally fine. Making sure that after four years of your graduation, you have got yourself a good job or any of the startup or whatever skills that you want to work in your entire life. That is totally fine if you you have completed your graduation five to six years. Having said, you have found your passion and doing well in that. So that is the first thing. If you fail in your engineering, you get some extra years, like three to four years to complete your graduation. And suppose, even if you are not able to complete your graduation in those years, either you get a letter from the university or college that you're not fit for this graduation, or some universities will provide you some other degrees saying BSc in some other streams okay so if you're able to complete in the given tenure of four years well and good with an extended time period of three to four years you will get the degree but the year will be written from the year that you have graduated and if you fail then either you will get a letter that you're not fit for this engineering or you might be given any other degree of uh, PSC or maybe any other that that entirely depends on on the university now moving on to the second part that when you fail in your semester exam now when i say when you fail in semester exams uh since all of you first year interviewing students are watching my video when you fail in odd semester exams you can reappear your exams in next odd semesters for example if you have failed in your first semester of your engineering or in any in any one subject say if you have failed in your maths mathematics one you can give 
that exam in third semester you failed in first semester you can give in third semester if you again fail in third semester you have to not give in fourth semester but in fifth semester if you again fail in fifth semester you can give in seventh semester now if you fail in seventh semester some universities give you some mercy chances that you can now attempt that exam in eighth semester in the same way it is for the even semester if you have failed in fourth semester you can give in sixth or in eighth semester so odd subject exams will be given in the odd semester whereas even subject exams will be given in the even semester now does that affect your placements and all this stuff now to be very frank if you have cleared all your exams by the time of placement say suppose if your placement is coming in the seventh semester or in final year for graduation and before that suppose you had four uh, backlogs you failed in four subjects but till then you cleared it it's totally fine that does not make uh, that does not affect your companies or who service coming for the placements but if you have any of the backlog left there are possibilities that companies will ask you to clear those exams even if they select you so failing in semesters really does not matter much uh, having said you have a knowledge of your subject and you can clear their interview exams but make sure that even if you have uh, some of the exams that you supposed to give in second semester third semester if you have failed so clear it as soon as possible failing in any semester is not a problem but if it carries on that creates a problem second i talked about the degree um if you fail in semester exams it is nowhere going to be reflected in your degree whereas if you get the mark sheet the mark sheet year will be different if you have uh, done your first semester exams in 2020 and you are again giving it in 2021 because you have to give it next year then the mark sheet will be of the next year so if the recruiter in the company asks you to provide all the mark sheet he or she will come to know that you had some backlogs and you reappeared it even then it's totally fine that does not matter much but just make sure that if you have ever failed in your first year of a graduation which actually involves your physics chemistry math mechanical engineering electrical engineering subjects you must clear them only in the first year itself because if you try to do it in second year and third year you actually lose the connect to the subjects and then it becomes very tough for you to once again clear those exams so my advice is to uh, try hard engineering is not that tough i believe engineering is one of uh, you have many many subjects but engineering is not that tough as mbbs or any other uh, courses now that's i don't know if that's a good part or a sad, sad part engineering should be tough that is what uh, i believe but in most of the uh, parts of india if you're watching this video the engineering is not that tough you can of course get a good score if you are an engineering student uh that's all from my side in this video if you have any more uh, questions or if you have any more suggestions you are free to uh, write in the comment section below just make sure that uh, you utilize your entire time for graduation make the best out of it and uh, i upload videos on every monday wednesday and friday that is what i used to do but for some time i have stopped it but i'll surely try to keep it posted uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching till here my name is steven simon see you in the next video Thank <laughs> you.